Thank you, Neil. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. You've had this incredible journey and you have quite the story to tell. So thank you for coming in. It's my absolute pleasure. So you are a night manager at a major hotel chain here yes. in town and you've worked night shift for many years. Yes. And when we first started working together, you were pretty burned out. <laughs> yes, I would definitely say that, yeah. Would you just tell us a little bit about that, what, where you were then? Back then, it, there was a situation of adjustment. The whole thing was an adjustment of mind, body, and spirit. I've gone from working normal shifts like everyone else, or most people with eight to four, nine to five, and I've now had to adjust to an 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. run, which my body didn't take too well in adjusting at first. After a year, it sort of leveled off, but past that year, mind, body, and spirit started to fight with each other. And there was a major, major, major conflict. So I had to reevaluate a lot of the things that I had to do, such as my, my sleep times, what times I ate, drank, go to the gym, all of those factors, I had to rebalance and realign the entire process, which was not easy because you're usually used to the nine to five everyday working process. So now I had to go back and reroute the whole thing. It's as if I'm now moving to a different country from being in the USA and going to probably China and having to work with their times. So it was more like what I would consider a shock to my body. It was a, an emotional and psychological shock that I experienced. So the fight took place and the fight continued to take place over a period of time. And my body became stressed, which is what a lot of people experience, but in your own way, because of the difference in the times, your body is shocked to the point where you're now not sleeping on time, even when you're off, mm -hmm. on your days off. Mm -hmm. And you now have to recalibrate your entire balance. So in that sense, I would say I was off balance or imbalanced. And I had to find some way to realign my entire mind, body, and spirit again, mm -hmm. which took some time, <laughs> took some effort, mm -hmm. and some therapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that because we've been working together for a while now, yes. right? So if you can, can we go back to some of the earlier sessions? And can you describe what that was like for you, even in the first one, two, or three sessions? What did you notice right up front? Sure, my, my first session, I had no clue what I was walking into. Absolutely none. Um, when I came to the therapy session, uh, even when you told me this is a therapy session that will help you realign and re replace everything, recharge everything that you have, you have had, I, I was like, okay, yeah, I could probably do that just to give it a try, just to see. Amazingly, on my first therapy, I felt like my batteries became recharged again. Mm -hmm. there, were, there were volts going through, mm -hmm. and I felt I had energy to go and probably take a workout right after the session, mm -hmm. but it, it left me also in a state of calmness where I'm able to now regroup, refocus mm -hmm. my, my goals, my attention on where I'm supposed to go and do. Mm -hmm. Even with my part-time school that I attend, uh, my, my focus was realigned to that point where I could now see a different focus and a different outlook mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. how I should approach this. Energy levels just went back up. Mm -hmm. And that was just the first session. Yes. That was just the very first yeah. session. So we had a few more to take, mm -hmm. which is eventually we went that way. Mm -hmm. But um, the very first session, it was the icebreaker. Yeah. It, it turned everything. <laughs> everything to, I, I would say, from upside down to right side up. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that you describe it that way because one of the things, and I have your permission to share this, is that yes. in your first session, in the last part, the last one quarter of the time is spent in what we call integration, meaning that we go through a process to make sure that everything is back fully aligned, that you're completely fully and present in your body when you leave, so you're safe to drive and go about your day as normal. Yes. 
And one of the things I remember that stuck out so vividly during your integration is that you were completely aware of your chakras realigning. Do you yes. remember a bit yes. about the, the compass points, I believe, yes. you described it as? Yes, My, I, felt, I felt an alignment taking place and I felt an awakening of some sort, which I've felt before, but not in any therapeutic session. Mm -hmm. This was the first time that I've actually felt like the energy lining everything back mm -hmm. into place, how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I did feel that, that part of chakras mm -hmm. being re-energized. Yeah. And then moving forward into some of your other sessions, there are a few things that, that kind of stand out, some things, this is a journey and it's a process yes. and everything is customized and individualized like you described. And it's interesting to see different things that came up at different time, which if we had tried to guess, we never, <laughs> never yes. would have guessed what was going to come up. Has any of that come to mind right now? What some of those unique what things was, were? What was unique was uh, the, the way mind, body and spirit at the time, because of the, the hours that I work, uh -huh. the strange, somewhat weird mm -hmm. hours that I work, it's been a fight with, within those three. What I've noticed is that body, physical body tiredness is no way in comparison to mental tiredness. Mm. Okay. When your physical body is tired, you go to bed, you rest, you could probably get a massage and relax it off. Mm -hmm. You could probably sip some tea or some people do other things, you know, even put their bodies through a hard workout and then they relax even more. But when you're mentally tired, you're just completely drained of all your energy, mm -hmm. no focus, no attention. Your, your attention span is gone. That even when you lie on your bed, you're still moving. You're mm -hmm. still moving and mm -hmm. trying to simmer down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. With this session, what happened was body relaxed, mental relaxed, spirit relaxed, and they were all meshed together. Mm -hmm and trying to work with each other now, mm -hmm. instead of this one going that way, that one pulling each other and different places. So how have you seen that play out in your life? Like at work or at home, relationships? How have you seen your experiences from the sessions themselves mm -hmm. then come out into everyday life? For work, for one, uh, work is a lot calmer. I'm able to handle situations a lot differently. Before, there was a, a flustering period where you know you would you would get all angry mm -hmm. and worried about what could happen next or what next is going to come but at that point now you're able to nip it in the bud and say okay i'm ready for the next challenge mm -hmm. because the next challenge is going to most likely be either easier or harder so they're stepping stones mm -hmm. so you kind of you kind of try to work with what you have there as that learning experience, but try to refocus on what you have that may come down the road. Mm -hmm. And from there, this is where your, ter your therapy session will work best for you. Mm -hmm. You always go back to where it was, where you, you develop, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say comfort zone, but where it made you feel at peace. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you mentioned, you alluded to just a little bit, was about career advancement. Yes. There was something that you had been wanting to do for a number of years. And you were, you've described it as kind of feeling stuck, couldn't get moved on to what it is that you really want to do. Can you talk a little bit about that? And what, was, what was strange about that? Um, I think at the time I, I did mention it, but I think what, what I realized and when I, when I thought about the whole process, I felt as though a doorway had opened. Mm -hmm. A doorway had opened up based on this therapy session that I had done with you. And it wasn't the first or second it came along the way because as you did mention, it's a process. Mm -hmm. So I've been wanting to do one of, one of the courses uh, for finance, specifically with trading in the, uh, in the, um, in the, tra the stock market. Mm -hmm. And in the stock market, it would open up a lot of different avenues because it's like a new language you're gonna learn. Mm -hmm. And that doorway was created here from Gemstone Therapy because I had seen nothing else. It's been four years. All I've been doing was dreaming and contemplating of doing this because this is something that I really wanted to do mm -hmm. and achieve. 
that doorway opened up and it landed on my lap. Mm. So, it's, just, it's just so funny how it happened not long after. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that because in gemstone and diamond therapy, uh, the as a practitioner, we work with your highest self. Yes. So there's a connection made, there's a communi communication that's made. And then as the practitioner, um, I'm responsible for providing a, an efficient and effective and a meaningful and safe therapy session following protocols. And then gems the healing energies of the gemstones and the diamond therapies do the work, right? And you've experienced this, which it, it, what, we're kind of coming back full circle a little bit because it seems, it, it seems to me that your highest self arranged all of this. And as you know, this is all about self-healing. So you're, you're, it's kind of like gemstone therapy and diamond therapy is actually a gift that you gave to yourself. Yes. What it did was not just put everything in a, in a structure, but it put it in alignment order. Mm. So the order was that, okay, this was supposed to happen first, now it's first, then second, then third. Everything streamlined in an order where I expected it to happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I didn't expect it totally, but it happened anyway. And uh, that's where the alignment took place, where everything was placed in a specific order for it to happen mm -hmm. chronologically. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What advice would you have? Is there, some, is there any pearl of wisdom that you would like to share for business executives or managers and leaders such as yourselves, as yourself? Is there any advice that you'd like to give for other people? Definitely. Uh, we're surrounded by stress. Yeah. Stress accompanies the job, traffic, everyday traffic. Even when you go to shop in a mall, we're approaching Christmas time. We're approaching different seasons like Thanksgiving, that's a very high stress season where a lot of people are on the roads traveling and all that. But a lot of people are missing the one thing that we're looking for. It's not money. It's not comfort. A lot of us look for a comfort zone. The one thing we all look for is happiness. Mm. And once that door opens up, a lot of things could flow through with all the different things that block us from experiencing that one thing that we all look for in life, that's happiness. If we open up that door and create the pathway for it to enter, it will come. Mm. So what I've experienced with gemstone therapy, it's an opening of a doorway. Mm. Thank you, that's beautiful. Thank You're you. You're welcome. It's an honor and a privilege to work with you and facilitate your healing journey and gratitude to you for this incredible opportunity. And it's a privilege and a joy to continue to work with you. And I'm really looking forward sure. to seeing what your next steps yes. on this exciting journey that yes. you're on. So thank you. Thank you. Very, uh, thank you as well. <laughs>